Hey guys and welcome to today's video and today I want to talk about DHT blocking and understanding your hair loss and for you guys who don't know me my name is Alex and I've been suffering hair loss since I was 18 years old but I was able to recover from it with full set of hair so in today's video I want to talk about some uh, important topic and it is DHT blocking and what often guys do and hear uh, from different sources on the internet and so on is that one needs to block DHT to solve the hair loss issue and uh, if you check my previous uh, pictures or my live streams or other videos, you can see how nicely I was able to recover from my hair loss when I started to block DHT. But uh, it was not enough because at some point other online issues catch it up and cause problems for me and I started to lose hair again. Right? So when I finally solved everything that could cause hair loss, I was able to recover and get full set of hair like I have now. But in today's video, I want to talk about uh, like... Often what guys do is they hear that one should start to block DHT, like DHT is a minor factor of hair loss, so they start to block DHT, but they still keep losing hair, right? And what they do next is to step it up, maybe they step up the dose of uh, DHT blocker, let's take, assume it's a finasteride, then so they step up the dose of it, and they still lose hair, and then they maybe uh, do something else, they uh, switch over to do the stride, and uh, maybe it helps some for some time, or even if it doesn't help, right? Uh, then they step up to topical application of some kind of DHT blocker, right? And it gets more and more extreme, right? Uh, because, uh, and it still doesn't work. And basically they kind of assume that it must be DHT spikes that is causing it. So they take it to extreme and uh, start to uh, take a, like a treatment even to more extreme levels. And uh, like if you have been taking uh, some kind of DHT blocker and you still don't see results that you're looking for, so basically it means that uh, there is something else that is causing your hair loss, right? Like, uh, just check my example. When I was blocking DHT, I did get good results at first. For the first two years, I had awesome results with blocking DHT by finasteride, or preparation in my case. And then I started to lose my hair again, right? And it, in my case, it happened because of scalp inflammation, right? So basically, it means that if you are blocking DHT, and you still are not able to stop your hair loss or uh, uh, regrow is slow, right? So it means basically there is something else that is uh, messing things up and that needs to be addressed, right? So uh, don't uh, fall into the trap to try to kind of uh, make the hair loss uh, treatment more extreme by adding other things like the dust read and so on, because yes, they may help, right? They may work, but then you get like a miscom sessions and you think that your hair loss is because of DHT and yes it can be because of DHT but uh, maybe because you have taken uh, your treatment to more extreme and do uh, the test read or other kind of methods do work and then you assume that it is mine cause of your hair loss but maybe it's something else it's just uh, uh, by taking uh, hair loss treatment to the extreme it worked for some time and then it kind of slowly lose effectiveness again right and what's the next step? Next step would be to make it even more extreme, right? So th those are the kind of things I wanted to address in this video because it is so important to understand that hair loss is not just DHT. It can often be a combination of different factors like uh, like I've been talking about the previous, like uh, inflammation on the scalp, uh, inflammation from the diet, uh, allergies, stress, uh, even lifestyle, and other things, right? So it, it is a combination, right? And uh, if one have just DHT problem, yes, by taking some kind of DHT blocker, even supplement, it can uh, solve the problem, right? So this is kind of my point with the video. And for you guys who need help with hair loss and who, if you have tried address your hair loss and you still are losing hair or you still are not seeing the results you want to see, uh, schedule a call with Blobs video, let's talk and see how my program can help you to solve this problem because I was able to recover from this issue. I have been able to help other guys to solve this problem. So it is possible to recover from hair loss and get awesome results, right? You just need to understand what is happening and take back control of your hair situation. Thanks for watching, guys.